Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again. So we've started today off in style by dropping another 15 ewe lambs and lambs off. Slash a couple of you, so they're down here, not with the big group of you, so they're looking really good. The only thing we've got to do now is make sure they all are with who they should be because that you definitely doesn't have seven lambs and that you definitely doesn't have six or seven lambs. So hope you enjoyed today guys. If you do, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, and once again, I hope you enjoy. That one. Get ya, get ya. Oh, this is an absolute diddler. Nope. Yes. That is the majority done. So I'm gonna leave them for an hour and come back. But in the meantime, we are gonna go and take the creep feeder down to the other group of big ewes and lambs. We I'm gonna just start them on some creep now. They're getting up to about a month old. And also in the next couple of days, they're gonna get vaccinated and wormed for the first time. That'll be a completely separate video, but I just wanna get them started on that creep because of some of them, especially like the Abba Blacks, we wanna get them finished fairly quickly. Just back it, put it angled in, that'll do. Oh, breezy, breezy. Should have put the hat on. Hello there, creep feeder, I don't know if you can see it, just for that gateway. Also, that is a hell of a field of grass seed. So now I just need some feed to put in it. I'm going to take a couple of bags of creep as well as some ewe rolls to feed the ewes at the same time. Ah, it's a light problem. Ewe rolls fine. Lamb creep is in there. So we're only going to um, give them two bags of creep to begin with that someone might gorge on it if we don't put too much in, it takes the risk away. But the only thing I do need now is a couple spanners. I think that's a 13. That's the one. Right, let's test the old backing again. I reckon that'll do. Right, let's get this out before they finish feeding. So what we've done there, we just put the front on, we just gotta make sure it's the right width. So we want it wide enough to get the lambs in and not wide enough for using. That is why we use it because if the ewes get in there, they'll just scoff all of it. And we just put the feed in here, so there's plenty of it for all the lambs to go out all day long. So you can see down there. And that is pretty much what creep feeding is. I reckon I'm gonna go with that. That's probably the narrowest setting I'd want it on. If some of the big lambs can't get in, we'll just widen it up as we go. That's not going anywhere now. But just so you can see, the little trough down there, the lambs just walk through here to the trough and they can get. And as you see, all these ewes are desperate to get in there. But unfortunately, girls, yeah, you won't be getting in there unless you're extremely underweight. We've had some rain, haven't we? I'm sure there's much tastier grass than that, mate. And just to make all you sheep farmers happy out there, we always have a run to lamb. This set of twins are not the most beautiful, are they? Well, it is starting to look a little bit clearer in here. We've got 10 ewes left in pens, including the two bored lesters. Both those lambs are growing like absolute weeds. Just look how bonny it is. By the way, bonny me is pretty. Look how pretty and big and strong that lamb is. Absolute cracking. Then we've got a few of the youngest ewe lambs. These are just a little bit weak to put out, I thought. So that is these four there. Then finally, we have one ewe with a little bit of mastitis. Looking sorry for herself. 
Oh yeah, not forgetting when we put number 11, the one that its mum had to be put down, it's now got a new mum. These are also very young ewe lambs, so kind of up there, down there. But yeah, absolute cracking. Number 11 has got a new mum, so really, really trust her. I've had a phone call. One of the ewe hogs, so ewe lambs from last year, has managed to escape. So Sophie's going to come and help me. I'm going to just put that back in the field. Look who has come to join me, guys. How are you? Good, thank you. Down here, where we get into the field, also, by the way, they've grazed this time really well. They're going to get moved this week. They can literally just walk under here because the post has come out of the ground. So like here, you can see their hooves, hoof marks there and there. So hopefully just by, oh, not by doing that if I pass so far. Right there, yeah. if I push it in there. There we are. And now we're not going to any escaping sheep, hopefully. I give that an eight out of 10. <laughs> My dismount was Sonic more. Six. I'll sit and I'll take that. So I was planning to get this done yesterday, but it was a Sunday and we had last bit of the afternoon just chilling. So I'm gonna get all these tops pushed through into the horse paddock. All the using lands were spot on last night, so all okay. Someone did leave the camera at home. Because what we tend to do is we'll graze them here for a month, graze them in there for a month for different periods of time, get one of the fields fertilised and get the other one growing just so they've always got grass ahead of them. The drill. Good lads, good lads. Oh. Couldn't have gone much better, could it? So this side of the field, this is the horse side, because there's not much grass, but there is a fence about halfway up split in the field, so the tops tend to go that side. They're looking really well, aren't they, after their first night? They've definitely been hard enough. Thankfully, today has changed a bit. It's going to be a really nice sunny day. A bit cold, but really good for their first day out properly but um if you are wondering the reason some are black i may have under ordered the blue spray so black ones they are singles reds obviously twins as no but really happy with how they're looking right so you've probably just seen me open that gate before we before we check the use but now We've got another quick movement job on. So we've got the tops in the big field at the bottom. And we're waiting for the usual top field just to come with a little bit of grass. Dad's furted it, as I keep saying, and the grass is coming through lovely now. So we're just going to get them quickly moved. And that's another little job done for the day. Come on! Come on! Well, that is the boys all moved. We're giving them a little bit of feed, but they didn't follow the bucket as well as I was expecting. So we did have to push them the last little bit, but they're all in here and they're coming on so, so well. Someone was saying to me the other day, it'll soon be show season. It will, like two months from now, is Staffordshire's show, which is absolute madness, but really, really happy with these. We have one that has just stripped off a bit, but I think that is because we short sheared them in the winter. You can see that's a fresh new fleece coming through. There's no patches, I think it's just because it's, yeah, you see, yeah, you know what I mean. Marvellous, we've got here, and the sheep aren't in the field, so I don't like dogging really young lambs too much, but Jose, come on, come on Josie, come on Jose. She can just give him a push. Push him. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, Jose. They must have literally just got into this field because they haven't spread out too much. Hi! Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, go on, go on. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Stay! 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 Good girl, come here! Here! Come on, here! 
She smashed it. Good girl, Joes. Come here. Come here. Up here. Up here. Come on. Up. I am so chuffed for you there. If that were like, I can't believe this. This is why you have a dog. Go on. Light down. Light down. 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 Stay, stay. Here. Good girl, good girl. See if they've touched this at all. They don't look too much. We do have a lamb in there at the moment though. Just look down there. Even away, that's a good sign. So, I'm not going to put another bag in there. I do have one with me. I'll just pop it in tomorrow. Um, one good thing about that, I thoroughly checked all the user lands because there wasn't exactly many left in the field. And they're all looking good. They're growing so well. I keep saying it. They know. A quick move around of the use to start the day. So this is the field they actually grazed off originally and they moved across. There's a little bit of grass on here, but the reason we've actually moved them off there is it's getting a little bit trodden up with all this rain. You can tell it's raining right now. But the actual plan is they're going to go into that field. But the reason they're not going straight in there is because they're getting het to vac and worm tomorrow. So I'll stay in here for another day. Get all of those worms out and I'll go into that field. I hope that all makes sense. Just a check up on the creek. We have moved this. But they have actually been in here. I've seen six or seven when I got here. We're inside the creep seat. Creep feeders, they've started to find that. That is good. And apart from that, we have had, we've got four more ewes left to lamb. And it is coming to an end, as I said before. Now focus on keeping these arms growing whilst they're outside. Skip forwards another 72 hours and we have absolutely no more updates. The lambs are all doing well. The next time we have two decent days in a row of sunshine, these are all going to get out. They're coming on really well, but we have no more lambs. Four more of these still need to lamb and you need to drop. I know it looks like a lot of, I need to get the barons out in the next couple of days too. They're going to go and run with the ewe lambs probably <laughs> on the hill, but that is for another video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed today guys, we will have one final lambing vlogs video, I can't promise when it is, but as soon as these girls are pretty much all done, we'll do a roundup of the lambing this year to show you guys exactly how we've got on. But once again, massive thank you to everyone for your support, I really appreciate it. If you did enjoy the video guys, please tap that like button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget, check the merch store out, I really appreciate everyone that's gone over there across the whole of the lambing series and gone and bought merch, thank you all to that and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys.